Krishna Prabhuji. Hey Krishna, welcome you all uh, for our Gurukul sessions and today is a Thursday. We'll continue our Krishna Lila discussions. So Lord appeared in uh, this holy place of India, Vrindavan. And uh, if you observe all the avatars, all the great personalities, all the great devotees are been a part of this region, India, geographically. <laughs> Right. Because this is called as a Punya Bhumi, Bharata Bhumi, it's in, uh, India. is Now it is English name, India. Prabhuji, huh? there was one devotee who was from another country, Prabhuji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, there are many, but majorly if you observe all the... Brahmana Prabhuji, at Yuga Prabhuji. India has been given an opportunity of uh, having this great culture of Krishna consciousness. <laughs> but if we don't take advantage, then nowadays people, there will be a lot of uh, struggle. Very, very difficult. Because so much work to do. And for what purpose work to do? Uh, I'll show you one image. Okay, Tell me, what do you understand from this? You all are able to see? Uh, that guy is... Uh... <laughs> Prabhuji, who is sitting on the uh, donkey, no, Prabhuji, he yeah. had uh, uh, on the stick one the carrot and donkeys following the stick, Prabhuji. Yeah, the dis guy. yeah description is correct. Prabhuji, yeah, Prabhuji what is can, yeah, what Prabhuji is it? Donkeys compared to like the human beings, Prabhuji. And the person who's sitting on us is the Maya, and the characters are the material enjoyment, Prabhuji. You you heard somewhere or you are guessing? So guessing, guessing, Prabhuji. Uh, no, no, no. So a good guess, but still it's not so perfect. Still very Can you tell? Can you tell? Yeah, yes, bro. Please tell. <laughs> that the man is showing the character so that the donkey can go ahead. But she did it did vomiting. Ah, no, not vomiting as such. It is just a, it's shown as a sweat. He's working so hard, the foam comes from the mouth. They work hard, na? so the foam foam falls from the mouth and sweat comes. So the donkey works hard. But still very, very uh, tragic thing is there in this picture. <laughs> very strange thing. Who has understood? If you are if you are heard. Prabhuji, uh, one strange thing is that uh, carrot is away from the donkey. A few yeah. inches away. <laughs> yeah, that is written below, only a few inches away. <laughs> See, what is happening? The master has hold the carrot in a such a way. Donkey thinks, oh, just a few inches away. And then again, he will take a one step. What will happen with the carrot? Will the carrot will come close? The same distance carrot will also move ahead. <laughs> it's not going to come. It's just shown as an attraction for the donkey. Oh, you'll get this carrot. You work hard, I will take you. No, carrot is just right. But if you observe picture carefully, there is so much green grass available all around. You're able to see in the painting behind the put up grasses. So why donkey has to work so hard? <laughs> Because he doesn't understand, that's why he's called as a donkey. So same way, yesterday we read about Uddhavas glorifying the gopis. Your human mission is successful. Because they have used their human life to become Krishna consciousness. Whereas modern people, you ask them, they say, no, no, no time, so much you have to work hard. <laughs> For what purpose? For that carrot? Which Maya shows. <laughs> Maya is showing that carrot for us. But then uh, it is just an illusion. We think that, okay, I just do little hard work. I'll get that. I will enjoy. But I will again step ahead. But then that goes away. That also doesn't come. So Prabhupada describes this. That's why donkeys are called as fools. They're donkeys. If the humans, they doesn't understand the nature of this material world and the happiness. And then they, if they, yeah, keep on mute. Keep a mute, Manvik. Yeah. So if the humans, if they doesn't understand the 
nature of this world and the happiness it is coming <laughs> then they are also compared to the donkeys only the work hard only for the carrot the another important thing is god has arranged already things for us we need not too much worry you have to worry about becoming krishna conscious <laughs> but this donkey is thinking oh how can i maintain myself i need food i need to work hard then he is running behind that carrot is called as a donkey <laughs> is it clear all of you are understood understood hai jashit bro clear yes prabhu yeah yes yeah. prabhu so we should not be like the donkey foolish donkey we should have a faith on krishna krishna's creation and use our efforts to become krishna conscious as we put efforts for uh, students they put their efforts for studies all of you are putting your efforts for studies so yes studies are needed otherwise you know what will happen you will lose the grades <laughs> you will fail in the exam and again continue in the same class year will be lost so yes studies and then the uh, doing a job is maintenance for our bodily needs but not to forget the soul's need hmm? that is krishna consciousness so that's why it is very important to understand the importance of krishna that's why the gopis as we are reading they are the highest example how they have given up everything and they have completely uh, following becoming krishna conscious what krishna wants them to do <laughs> Let us begin our today's reading. Om Adnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeya Shumri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ravunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitam Sha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya Amine Gauratva Shema Maha He Krishna Karuna Sundho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Takta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vindavaneshwari Vashabhanu Sute Devi Vranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpa Daru Vyasha Kripa Sindhu Pyae Vacha Patitanam Bhavane Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadigaura Bhaktavanda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, so let us begin our uh, Krishna book reading. So, you all are able to see the screen here? Yes, yes, Prabhupada. Yeah. Yes, Prabhupada. Let us begin our yesterday's uh, continuation. <clears throat> so, with the deliverance of the message to the gopis. Yeah, chapter 40. So, reading from the book Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. So, yesterday we read about how the verse glorifies the great devotion of the gopis, what they have. So we'll come to that point. Now B is going. Yeah, Uddhava. Yes, Mahabha. You're all wonderful devotees. Yeah. 
so i think here we had stuff right you are the worshipable throughout the three worlds because your minds are wonderfully absorbed in the thought of vasudev krishna and absorption affection attraction uh, uh what how how anyone knows those five a's what we studied those five a's <laughs> what are those five a's attraction affection uh, that is last you have to go by sequence <laughs> okay who knows attention attention attraction affection <laughs> no, you have to remember by sequence hmm? first attract attention then attraction then attachment then absorption and then affection <laughs> remember na so first attraction will go okay what is that look something attractive let me look into then one will give attention to that things okay what is this let me see yeah. then one will develop attachment for that and then it will come absorption and then affection so here it is being spoken about absorption he is the goal of all pious activities and ritualistic performances such as giving a charity rigidly following the austerity of vows uh, undergoing severe penances and light uh, igniting the fire of sacrifice he is the purpose behind chanting different mantras reading the vedas controlling the senses and concentrating the mind in meditation so are, are you all understanding these terms hmm? all the pious activities and ritualistic performance such as charity right what is meaning by charity quickly charity for giving donation to the worthy persons ha ah, offering donations to the worthy people especially the lord lord and lords devotees right and then rigidly following austerity of vows what is that the vows what are those austerities of vows what are the vows we have hare krishna no one knows what are the vows we follow <laughs> Yeah. Hi, you know me. Didn't know uh, that one, Prabhu Ji. That one, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no meat eating, no gambling, no uh, meat eating, no gambling, no uh, no intoxication, no illicit sex. Yeah, good, good. Anish Prabhu is back. Thank you. Yeah. So these are vows. There are some more vows. These are the don'ts. All of you said. I mean, one we should not indulge into those things. but then something to do that is also wow what are those to do <laughs> don't we remember it yeah chanting our prescribed number of rounds so shila prabhupad has given us the 16 rounds of hari krishna maha mantra every day we should be doing and then what are all of you are doing regularly you can keep it and then come to that standard so chanting every day and yeah obviously yes shravanam right hearing some of your writing yeah waking up early in the morning <laughs> yes these are the vows not to indulge into wrong activities but leading our life purely then undergoing a severe penances and igniting the fire sacrifices so severe penances especially in the previous yugas people used to do now we need not too much undergo because we cannot also <laughs> but yeah severe penance is what not to unnecessarily uh speak the words which are not needed prajalpa or do back biting or fault finding or or mistreating somebody making a fun of somebody <laughs> we we enjoy while doing those things with others but this is not a good thing it's not a good habit krishna doesn't like especially with vaishnavas if you do then even more krishna will become very angry it will become offense so this is a penance for us not to indulge into all wrong things <laughs> right so these are all these things yeah again later it is written chanting mantras reading the vedas controlling the senses and concentrating the mind so these are the means for the goal of krishna consciousness to connect ourselves to krishna people say oh, i do lot of tapasya but then what is the purpose of that tapasya we, do we want to show to others that i know many many things i am i'm such a great person then that that purpose is lost <laughs> it's not the purpose end goal of our whatever work we do whatever profession the every day we are doing our various activities the end goal is what how i am getting nicely connected towards krishna how i am becoming krishna conscious 
how much I'm developing my attraction, attention, <laughs> absorption, affection, all these things, attachment towards Krishna, how much I'm developing. So that is a goal. Means and the goal, we have to make it clear. <laughs> right? So somebody does great tapasya, somebody is standing on a one leg, somebody is uh, maybe doing a lot of austerities and hardships, okay. But then for what purpose? That's what if you remember uh, two great personalities in a Srimad Bhagavatam we find. Both of them, they did very tremendous hard tapasya. But there is a difference between both of their tapasya. <laughs> Anyone knows? Sorry? I, I could ah, did great tapasya. <laughs> but what is the point? Purpose is lost. Yeah. Any other? Ah, yeah. Jasit Pro is writing. Yeah. Anyone else knows? Any other person? Not Ravana is not mentioned in Bhagavatam, especially. Yeah, that is about Dhruva Maharaj. <laughs> we read, right? Dhruva Maharaj also performed six months. First month, taking only once in a three days papita fruits, which is very, very simple. Monkeys they take that simple fruit once in a three days. The next month, once in a six days, taking a dry leaves, not even a fruit, also leaves which are fallen in the ground. <laughs> Then third month, once in a nine days, taking only water. Hmm? Yeah. Then once in a uh, in the fourth month, once in a twelve days breathing. That's all. Twelve days, no breathing, no eating, nothing. And then the finally the Lord only appeared in the final fifth month, six months he came. He stopped fifth month that also. Six months the Lord appeared immediately. So Dhruva also did great tapasya. Hiranyakaship also did such severe penance. If you see the, that pictures and description, only the soul was there hanging in the body. All body, skin, bones and everything was eaten by ants. Such hardships. <laughs> but then purpose behind both of their tapasya is different. Dhruva did for, the, uh, uh, for connecting to the Supreme Lord Vishnu under the guidance of spiritual master, Sri Narad Muni. Whereas Hiranyakaship had a selfish agenda. Right. He wanted to conquer over, and that's what result is different. So any tapasyas, any any anything we observe in the world, the purpose should be very clear. So especially in the spiritual practices, people they go for a, a tirumala, they climb the high heights, or they do govardhan parikramas by walking or by tantavats various ways, <laughs> right? So yes, yes, that, that is a penance so that we can use time for remembering the Lord. But then if you're not remembering and every step we're just sitting or then say, oh, I am so tired, then that becomes body conscious. So better you can take a vehicle and then go. <laughs> Instead of thinking of the body more, you should think of Krishna more. So the purpose gets defeated if you are not doing in a proper spirit. Then somebody wants to show to the neighbors how nicely I'm doing pujas, how nicely I'm worshiping. Then uh, our goal is to impress Krishna, not the people in this world. <laughs> right? So we want to do for the pleasure of the Lord. Okay. So that's what the, he is glorifying the gopis. Right? All of you have done the, all these things already. <laughs> these are Prabhupada is writing. These are some of the many different processes of self-realization and attainment of the perfection life. But actually, see Prabhupada is writing, but actually they are meant only for realizing Krishna. And doubtling oneself in that transcendental loving service of the Supreme Personality of God. <laughs> so how much we are developing the good qualities of being a selfless, honest, truthful, humble, tolerant, forgiving, cleanliness. It's so many 24 to 26 qualities are described. right? So purity of thoughts, body, mind, words, all those. And then with those qualities, we are able to render service. Not that just Make ourselves good and that shall know. <laughs> Start rendering loving devotional service to the Lord. That is the goal. And Prabhupada says, this is the last instruction in the Bhagavad Gita. Also. Right? Give up all other things and just surrender unto me. <laughs> Although there are descriptions of different processes of self-realization, at the end, Krishna recommends that one give up everything and simply surrender unto him. All other processes are meant for teaching one how to surrender ultimately unto the lotus feet of Krishna. This is the goal. Goal should not be forgotten. At all, if you are coming for everyday classes, 
on at, at home also all of you i'm sure might be practicing very nicely with your families or yourself also yeah? so the goal should not be forgotten of our process to become krishna conscious <laughs> the bhagavad gita also says that this surrendering process is completed by a sincere person after executing the processes of self realization in wisdom and austerity after many births bahut bahut janam ke baad after many many births of performing the bahu naam janma naam ante krishna says eh? <laughs> so this is how it is so rare to come so by mercy of prabhupad although we don't know what we are done before <laughs> but prabhupad has made us qualify to uh, understand the goal and give us this process very nicely since the perfection of such austerity was completely manifested in the lives of the gopis uddhava was fully satisfied upon seeing their transcendental position so he continued glorifying the gopis my dear gopis the mentality you have developed in relationship with krishna is very very difficult to attain even for great sages and saintly persons <laughs> so uddhava who is a most intelligent uh, person in all the three primary system he is giving a certification to gopis <laughs> like what level of mental mentality you have developed for relationship with krishna not possible you have attained the highest perfectional stage of life previous paragraph we read he said you have perfected your mission now again he is telling you have achieved the highest perfection stage <laughs> it is a great boon for you that you have fixed your minds upon krishna and have decided to have krishna only giving up your families homes relatives husbands and children for the sake of supreme personality <laughs> right so again this point should be very clear right giving up your homes families relatives right so if 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 you are able to practice krishna consciousness very nicely then yes then there is no problem but then if it is obstruction and things and all then we have to situate ourselves in a way we are able to practice krishna consciousness so which example you remember in our recent reading we discussed giving up families homes relatives children husband <laughs> recently we were reading prabhu. Huh? who bharat prabhu no no a uh, bharat yeah from ramayana we read but in our regular classes we are reading about about one great no not dhruva maharaj <laughs> one great personality we are reading in our regular classes we are reading about the life of that person prabhupada prabhupada ah, prabhupada shila prabhupada's life eh? <laughs> all of you forgot so prabhupada was uh, undergoing so much uh, uh, i mean he he was asking his family now this friday you'll read tomorrow you will read again you see how it was uh, so much uh, uh, direct uh, what do you say indication from the family no support <laughs> then finally prabhupad left right so we have to understand that uh, krishna consciousness should not be compromised and of course sometime in there are so many families devotees the parents are not supportive or maybe the the other brothers or other family members are not supportive husband is not supportive wife is not supportive children are not supportive <laughs> but yeah we have to understand that we, we have to learn how to deal maturely so that keeping those relationship we can go on our krishna consciousness and then eventually they also understand and pick up because we don't have that much faith that we we'll leave our families and run away and practice <laughs> we will get carried away by our mind then so we have to take a proper guidance and then with the proper maturity we have to deal with the situation like let's you go for a college or your school huh? then every all friends are not devotees there but still you have to sit in a class still you have to live with them still you have to study with them and exchange the notes or do the project and things right that is for study purpose so you can keep working relationship with the people outside because they are not able to support all of you in the homes you are coming every day so that's that direct understanding how your all of your family members are allowing you to practice so nicely but otherwise we have to have a proper maturity to deal so that we maintain the relationships and at the same time keep our krishna conscious so if you observe all those examples prabhupad left home vibhishan left home uh, bharat rejected the mother i mean he was not ready to accept but then no prallad was not ready to accept hiranyakashipu's opinion 
but nobody hated the person nobody rejected in a way that okay i don't you go to hell now i'll, I'll not talk to you or not like that <laughs> right so of course the, the their feelings were of such extreme but then they never rejected so that's why just as christ he says hate the sin not the sinner so people are good but somehow because of conditioning they behave in a certain way that's why they don't understand krishna consciousness so we have to understand how to understand them <laughs> and keep our krishna consciousness proper so this point is uh, buddhava is glorifying their dedication and commitment of course gopi's case if you see uh, they they are living in vrindavan and all their husbands children practically everyone is a devotee also <laughs> interesting no? but still for the sake of krishna they were ready to do anything to go go to at any extreme because your minds are now fully absorbed in krishna the supreme soul universal love has automatically developed in you so what is meaning by universal love what is meaning by universal love yeah yes yeah say love unmuted. for everyone prabhuji prabhuji uh-huh. in in this whole universe they only have love, more love on krishna acha yeah both, both ways are correct yeah <laughs> yeah love for everyone and they have the highest love for krishna yeah so whole world one will be able to live very very properly and universal love means the ultimate level of love the gopis have developed that is the the super supreme soul they are fully absorbed in the supreme lord and that's what they have that universal love and that's what uddhava is thinking i think myself very fortunate that i have been favored by your grace to see you in this situation <laughs> right so anyone knows uh, previously also we read uddhava was been favored by who and now here he is telling that i think i am fortunate that i have been favored so who who favored uddhava actually anyone remember that's what the whole episode started about uddhava coming to vrindavan and then meeting the devotees and prabhu ji yashoda yashoda mother yashoda and maharaj no, no, no. no 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 uddhavaj coming to vrindavan was been favored by supreme lord krishna <laughs> krishna wanted to go to send uddhava to vrindavan so that he can see how my devotees are so exalted <laughs> and that's what uddhava is uh, uh, i mean now understanding that great favor what he has received and here also is telling by your grace and the gopis are also able to uh demonstrate themselves in front of uddhava the great love what they have so generally pure devotees of the lord they will not exhibit the love in front of uh, the people around but uddhava could able to witness such great uh, attraction what they had so when uddhava said that he had a message from krishna the gopis yeah keep a mute manvik maintain a mute yeah when you have to speak you can unmute him yeah. when uddhava said that he had a message from krishna the gopis were more interested in hearing the message than in hearing about their exalted position <laughs> right they did not very much like being praised for their high position they showed their anxiety to hear the message uddhava had brought from krishna <laughs> right interesting now what did you learn from this description here up to this we read just now they are surrendered to the they are surrendered okay anything more especially yes, they... they want to be uh, means like they want to krishna to be praised prabhu ji not themselves ah okay thank you <laughs> yeah, want yes, to be krishna in any position yeah yeah okay yeah hari ram pro what you are saying Same. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. In this world, everyone like to get praised for themselves, isn't it? Everyone want to have a credits for themselves. How great I am! How nice I am! And all people should glorify me. All people should congratulate me. All people should tell about me how nice I am. how good i am <laughs> so that i is the more maximum center place whereas here we see when uddhava is being glorifying the gopis 
you are the top most people in the world in the universe you have perfected your life you have achieved the end goal of all the tapasya austerities everything your human mission is successful i consider myself fortunate to have darshan of you <laughs> so much is glorifying the gopis but the gopis were not at all interested about hearing their position of their glories they are interested in krishna's glories they wanted to make krishna happy they wanted to make krishna uh, krishna's message so that they can become uh, they can glorify krishna not for their own self right so this quality is very very important what is the center we want to keep ourselves in the center and make ourselves famous or we want to keep krishna in the center and hear the glories of krishna and then we can really become krishna conscious right so until that ego this, this term is called as a ego false ego there is a true ego and then there is a false ego false ego means considering we are great i am great i am very nice i am very expert i am very smart <laughs> whereas what is meaning by true ego anyone knows the term true ego means depending on their elders no 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 what is meaning Prabhupada, by true yeah probably that uh, that for krishna i get this for krishna i get that probably ah very nice very good <laughs> right true ego means krishna is my master i am krishna's servant there also we are telling i am but for what connection for krishna's connection krishna is my master i am krishna's servant i am devotee servant that holding that servant position is a true ego <laughs> there also i is there but then in what connection to glorify krishna to serve krishna to serve the devotees right so this point is very much important to understand otherwise uh, what is that uh, ego stinks very badly then nobody will be having a good relationship with us because everyone want to show everyone have a big big balloon of their own self <laughs> balloon of their own greatness their own right? then then we not be, then that's why why it is said in in the bhagavad gita we have to bow down in front of lord so when we enter into the temple we have to keep our chappals outside then enter so when we remove our chappals outside we should remove our ego also outside <laughs> we should remove our <laughs> upad is also outside i am not a topper i am not a student a great student i am i am just a fool that's why acharya's prayers when we read they say i am i am a foolish i am a most fallen <laughs> right uh, many many at the end of the many many songs patita pavana mosama patita prabhu <laughs> aranai there is nobody else more fallen than me <laughs> the great acharyas the great devotees of the lord but then they say that i am most fallen and we are so fallen but we say i am very great <laughs> so much difference right so we have to uh, cultivate this proper attitude we might have done something great but then how we say like let's say you are a topper in a school you got a first rank then what should be our attitude how we this should uh, Give me this strength to become topper in class. Uh, Lord Krishna gave me this time to become the topper. Okay, very nice. Anyone more? <laughs> What one should think if I am the topper in a class? Yeah. Anyone more? No, no one. <laughs> What do you think if you are the topper in a class? What you will say? Oh yes, I am the one who has done the studies. So yes, I am the best. I am the. Or what is our attitude then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I ask you. Yeah, I ask you. Yeah, it is all Krishna's glory. It is all Krishna's kindness that He has given me intelligence. Krishna is a source of knowledge, remembrance, and forgetfulness. <laughs> so if He would have not given me intelligence, no matter how much or hard I study, I would have not been able to write the exams. if my parents would have not allowed me to give the facility to study nicely and krishna would have not given me the intelligence then who i am to get the credits myself so all glory is all glory is all glory is to shri guru and shri gaurang <laughs> not for me hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare so why the gopis are highest because of such attitude they don't want their own self but they want krishna's 
uh, Krishna's glories, Krishna's name, Krishna's fame. So we also become uh, glorious when we glorify Krishna. And Srila Prabhupada's life, we see, he never went the world telling himself, I am the great. He made Krishna great. And in reciprocation, Krishna made Prabhupada great. <laughs> right. So this is how we can understand the proper attitude. Thank you all very much for joining and being with us this evening. The design with Vaishnav, you know. Vancha Karipataru Bhesha Kripa Sindhu Bhyayvacha Patitanam Bhavane Pyo Vaishnav Pyo Namo Namaha Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vranda Ki Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Thank you, Rikshna. Thank you, Rikshna.